In this Omega 4.0 video, we're going to take a look at creating back cut decals in the simplest manner possible using the new back cut dialog box in Omega 4.0 GSP plot. So here in Composer, I have a traditional front print, front cut decal all designed. There's nothing different about this job from what I would do for just doing a regular traditional print cut decal going out to my Gerber Edge and my Gerber friction fed vinyl cutter. So you see that it has print in the middle and a print cut around the outside edge. Next I'm going to go to file and output all to GSP plot. So I've done nothing different in terms of the designing of this decal. Once I'm here in GSP plot I'll set up my repeats and anything else that I need to set up as I traditionally would. And just preview it by pressing F6. There we go. And basically, for the simplest way to create a front print and back front print front cut and back cut decals, you need to make sure your weed border is turned on. Weed border, here we go. And then you go into File and the Back Cut dialog box. In this case, I'm going to say I want to use my weed border for my back cut information. And from there, you can go ahead and basically you're done with setting up for front print, front cut, and back cut decals. So if I wanted to, I could go down and click on OK, and I essentially would be done. But I'm just going to investigate some of the other settings in this dialog box. So the most important would be targets. You want to make sure that you have a, just a single target like you always do for traditional edge decals. So I'll do center left and I'll set my number of crosshair cuts to be four. And I'll even preference that to be on so it stays on all the time. And I'll click on OK. So I'm going to have a center left target with four crosshair cuts. And now, so I have my weed border, I have my crosshair cuts that I'm going to use uh, when I flip over my vinyl in the plotter, I'll be able to see this crosshair cut slit so I can align to it and I'm just going to send the information to devices. Click on OK and when you click on OK when you send the in information to devices it sends your print information to your Gerber Edge, it sends your front cut information to your vinyl cutter as one job and it sends your back cut information, in this case your weed border, it'll send it to your vinyl cutter as a second job. So you do your front printing on the edge, your front cutting as usual on your vinyl cutter, you flip the vinyl over in the, in the vinyl cutter and reload it with the target at the beginning of the job, you align to the slit and then you back cut the liner of your decal and you're done. Just a note about uh, which plotter you might use, you need to use a Gerber 15 inch sprocketed plotter such as an Envision 375 or perhaps a GSX or a GS15 Plus. For the GSX or the GS15 Plus they have to be in drag knife mode and uh, you want to make sure that you only have a little tiny bit of your knife sticking out so you don't cut all the way through the face film or that decal when you flip over the material in the cutter. Just a little bit of the blade being exposed and increase your weight slightly. And again your plotter must be in drag knife mode. So that's it. Front cut, front print, front cut, back cut decals. Very simple using the weed border in GSP plot.